Morning, 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 morning. Good people. Top of the morning to you all. I hope you guys are doing good this morning. It's been a crazy weekend. We got a new president. Um, a lot of great college football. Notre Dame uh, um, won. Beat Clemson. I had a watch list. Had a player I wanted you guys to watch. Jeremiah O. I thought that he played well. And then, of course, let's get to the Cowboys-Pittsburgh game. Um, I thought that there were a lot of positives and a lot of things that the Cowboys can build off of. Now, did they lose? Yes, they did. Did anybody expect them to win? No, probably not. But what I didn't expect them to do was play with the heart that they played with. And it was clear that Gilbert provided life, okay? And I'll be, and I'm gonna just say this. I thought that the Andy Dalton signing would help us in times like this when you have a QB that's hurt. I thought that Gilbert showed more zip with his football. I thought that he showed more point. That's a good, de like, that Pittsburgh defense isn't sorry. That Pittsburgh def defense isn't, you know, bad. I just think that Gilbert just has a better feel for the pocket. Um, now, some of his throws were off. Uh, and, and there were certain situations like, ah, get it out quicker. But I will say he did some nice things. For him just coming in off the street, um, he did some nice, nice things. He stood tall in the pocket. He trusted his arms. He made some good throws. He did what like, he just took the, the, the check down. He took the quick, uh, the quick in breaking, the quick out breaking. It was one play where Amari Cooper slips, and that would have been a first down. I think he would have extended that drive more. So it's things like that where he was decisive. He the ball came out sharp. And does anybody have super high hopes for this team? No. But do you want to see good football? Yes. And I thought that you were able to see that. Let's talk about Neville Gallimore. I thought Neville Gallimore was a freaking beast. Um and he's definitely, like I said, I've, I've said it a lot, guys, and I'm going to continue to say it. At this point in time, you're now looking on players you can build on for the future, period. And your secondary and, and your front, your linebacking core, and we're going to get to that in a second. Um, but you're looking at guys that, okay, you can build for the future. What do I mean, Foots? Guys that... Oh, Ambulance is coming, y'all. Let me see which way he's coming. Oh, you gotta go. Okay, cool. Yeah, I don't know if y'all heard that. This, this, hey, this live, baby. This is, this is what it is. Hey, I don't go live, so make sure that y'all hit up the Cash App as well. Make sure y'all do that. I need y'all to be careful. Just show some love. All right. Um, Neville Gallimore. I lost my train of thought. Neville Gallimore. Future guys that guys that are in the future plans. Guys that are out of the future plans. I think that you have some pieces on this team that you can build on. I think that Leighton Van Der Esch again showed that when healthy, he is a problem. He is a great player. Now, it's Ben Roethlisberger, it's Pittsburgh. Their receiving core is, they're basically receiver you. So, you know, <laughs> you see Claypool from Notre Dame making plays. You see Juju Smith-Schuster, James White. They just have a lot of guys that could just make plays. So it's kind of hard to, to deal with that. And let's be honest, our secondary, I won't say it's compromised, but let's just be real. Our secondary already isn't that great. This is what it is. You got to call a spade a spade. So in calling that spade a spade, you say to hold them to 24 points and basically it took to the fourth quarter for them to, you know, take the lead or whatever. You did some nice things. I thought that Trayvon uh, Diggs played really, really well. The player, though, that I keep, and then we just gotta. And I know the, the penalties. He, he, the penalties just, it just, it's just sad because those were bad calls on Jalen Smith. But it's just obvious that the linebacking play of Jalen Smith just. I mean, like he, he, he'll do some nice things, but it's like even on that blitz, you're kind of like, dang, Jalen. Like we had just got off the field. Like he's just catching some really bad breaks. And it's almost like he basically, like, single-handedly lost you a game because this team is <laughs> just sad because he, you got to know, like, yo, like, we don't have room for error, you know? We don't have room for error. Now, 
right now you're in a top three draft position. Top three. Um, I think that if Gilbert's going to play that well and the defense is going to play that well, you'll probably end up winning some games here soon. Uh, you're going to win some games. Um, so what does that mean? Does it mean that – I'll tell you what. For all accounts, the offensive line didn't play terrible. It wasn't – it wasn't like guys were just knifing through. Now, Connor Williams is – oh, my God. It's like this Connor Williams when you know when the guys go lift and stuff. It's like my my dude, do you do you bench press? Like you need to eat some protein, bro. Like what's in your diet? Like he's just not strong at all. Oh man. Um, I thought that you did a decent job on on JJ Watt. I mean, excuse me, on TJ Watt. Uh, he made a few plays, but I thought you did a decent job. Um, of course, I think Mika had the pick and. You know, that Steelers defense is, is, is revamped. It is what it is. But I thought that as a pocket passer, Garrett Gilbert actually didn't do bad. And I thought that the game plan was good. Kellen Moore did a few things that, you know, I, like I tweeted. At some point in the game, Kellen Moore is going to Kellen Moore. And that's why I kind of want to just hand the reins. So I think with this type of a player, you need to hand the reins over to Mike McCarthy. So he could just design things that are just quicker, but I think Mike is trying to, and rightfully so, trying not to, especially in season, just step on Kellen's toes and not make a rash decision. I thought that special teams was awesome. I thought that special teams was awesome. I thought that Fossil did a great job. The kicking game was awesome. I thought the return game was awesome. And you need to re-sign Fossil. <laughs> If nothing else, just the fact that he, you know, has some things designed that they were able to take a chance. I like that. So, you know, some positives from this game. Neville Gallimore, uh, Garrett Gilbert. I think if you want to steal a few games, I think he's your guy moving forward. If you want to see at least quality football, I think he's your guy going forward. And loss, there's no more victories, but I think the Cowboys played pretty damn good. All right, Cowboys fans, your boy Foots here. Thank you for liking, sharing, and subscribing. And as always, peace. Be blessed today, y'all. Be blessed. Have a great day. Have a great week. Keep God first. All right, Cowboys fans, I want to talk about channels for cheap. Listen, it's exactly what it sounds like, channels for cheap. Any type of entertainment you want, TV, um, movies, sports. I'm talking about NFL games, guys. NBA games. Yes, there's going to be sports with everything that's going on right now. This is your chance to be able to basically get any channel that you want, any movie that you can ever think of, all available on channels for cheap. All you got to do is click the link in my bio. It's really that simple. Click the link right now in the description box. Channels for cheap. You got to do it, guys. It's, it's, it's really worth it. Trust me.